Twitch chat, welcome in. Lovely YouTube people, welcome in. You will notice that I am on a different screen from when I have normally been starting episodes. And that is because in yesterday's streaming session, which would have been the fourth episode that people on YouTube would have seen, I was getting a little fed up with the gameplay loop. Um, I am genuinely surprised at how challenging even normal mode can be. I play video games practically every day. I've been playing video games for a long time. I'm not new to gaming and I play a lot of action games. However, comma, um, as you've probably seen by this point, there are some of these engagements that are surprisingly quite challenging. I'm here, I want to finish the game this stream, uh, and I'm playing Alan Wake because of the story. I think the story is fantastic. I don't want to be frustrated during this episode or during this last session of, of streaming with the game. I want to be able to enjoy it and see what's going to happen. So we're in the start screen because we're going to click episodes here. I'm going to drop this down to easy so that we can just make our way through stress free. We're going to start at episode five, the clicker. Ah, the clicker. That goes with the story, right? The story that Alan Wake told his wife about the old light switch. I think that's what the clicker is a reference to. Um, and then one other thing that I do want to bring up before I forget. I have been editing this series myself. Uh, and I was editing episode two or three, to two and three. Two or three, two and three today. Uh, and I noticed that at some point... I think it's when we're in the cabin, we pass by a photo. Yes, we pass by a photo in the cabin. I must have been watching episode one because this would have been episode one, I think. We, we pass by a photo in the cabin that is of who I think is Zane. Uh, he's, he's dressed as like an scuba diver astronaut with that, that helmet and something. Anyway, I noticed his photo in the cabin so very much more questions i feel like we're getting more answers and more questions but i just wanted to reiterate that before i forget okay let's start episode five the clicker i don't have a check yeah that's fine right i don't have a checkpoint in chapter five so that shouldn't be a problem i would think Yeah, I'm man most machine. That's a great way to put it. Leibniz, welcome in, by the way. Thank you, GJ. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem, right? Okay, okay, okay. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Okay, we need to find Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia Weaver is a CW we with Thomas Zane. It's her. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh, Always in the light. Hello. 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 And she was the one that said to not go into the darkness when we were in the toilet earlier in the diner in episode one. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. <sighs> I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Disgusting. this is not good. No, sir. Oh, my God. I am never drinking Oh, of course, because we had the moonshine. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. That's right. Crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, Al, but we're stuck here. 
Well, they're not gonna... Been interviewed, Wade. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's all not authors? possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... <laughs> Get back in the cell, Stephen Yes, King. he's naming the me only authors. The way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my god! Light. What the... We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Sorry. Pause. She just saw whomever that uh, the fbi agent nightingale get yoinked by the darkness she is so incredibly calm and i understand that like this is a video game it's a movie like things need to progress i would be in absolute shambles if i just saw that they just don't she just doesn't even catch she goes, goes, oh my god hey goku welcome in hey I see. stop fogly yo welcome in fogly cake Okay, Nightingale reads the manuscript. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true, impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. <laughs> he was at a bloody sentence, that did. All right, how many pages are in this one? Not that many pages. Not that long of a chapter? Question mark, question oh, mark. Man, we're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Stay cool. I want to be with her in an emergency situation. Once again, though, we're in a place that has lights on and is barely lit. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. Mm -hmm. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. She lives in an old friend. decommissioned power plant? Stop. You're, okay, wait. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? It's just a small Can you town. Do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. She is a woman in command. She is confident. I'm absolutely here for it. Um, I, yeah, some of the, um, some of the lines voice acting, because someone goes, oh my god, he's the equivalent of Alan's, oh no, when his wife is drowning. For the voice acting, like, majority of time is really good. However, comma, <laughs> there are a few standout moments where you're like, what? <laughs> Tom, are you following this at all? The sheriff has a contingency plan, this sort of thing, it seems. It does, so, okay, what I'm following is, we're with the sheriff right now. The sheriff is incredibly calm about this she's goes i've got i know how to turn the generator on you need to call a list of numbers whatever 
I don't know if she's cool and calm about this because she is just someone who is great under pressure what have you and she's just like a person in in control or if it's like john is hinting where she's got the contingency plan she's so good at doing this because she's probably done this before or she's aware that this is something that could happen um but i i don't yet know which it is but i have absolutely noticed that she is pushing through so don't worry that's not gone that's not gone over my head she is very cool under pressure the reactions are surreal like twin peaks and it's a shame because i've not seen twin peaks hey smooth welcome in how's it going lovely how are you it's almost like she expected it maybe she had stories maybe i'm still operating under the assumption um and sorry for anyone new in i do obviously i don't want to be pausing too much um but i do quite like taking moments to pause talk through some theories so you can know where my head's at what i'm thinking especially because a lot of this game is like almost dialogue all the time so you have to like pause to properly tell these things if there's di if there's no dialogue going i can just say it as i'm doing stuff but anyway um i'm still operating my my current assumption i've been going massively back and forth between this is a real place and there are moments that are very much real and happening in real time and then there are moments that are in like a parallel universe or what ha or like in in th there are moments that are kind of made up i'm kind of my uh, current operating theory is that this entire place is made up this entire place is not a real place and that there are parallel universes but that oh, my wife and is safe and alive in a different universe um that's my thinking i don't actually think she drowned don't correct me i'm just letting you guys know what i think father skies hello please um okay nightingale attacked by dark presence nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Okay. It's nice that you can hear Barry actually on the phone. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Are you sure? Okay, then. But hurry. Sorry, I didn't mean to use the shotgun. I'd meant to use the... I'd meant to use the torch. Uh, find a way to access the thing. I need to go over the rooftop, right? I unfortunately let off the shotgun um right as they were giving instructions but i think that's what they'd said yeah ladder over there maybe it go very boom very boom i needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate yeah that's the plan so you need to climb up this ah! that's happened so many times Oh, I was saying this. There are, there are moments in this game that... I know the game is going to be dark. It's a horror game. Um, but I was saying yesterday that to me it felt... Like... Sh oh, like shockingly dark at times. Um, and you guys had said it's in my monitor. But I checked. My monitor brightness was already at 80 over 100. I've turned it up even higher. In light, you can hurt them, yes. Um, I've turned it up to like 90. I think what it is is just a combination of like, the game is dark, but also I have bright lights in my face, which I think maybe might also be part of the problem. Um, but if you guys aren't noticing it, then like it's good enough brightness for you guys, then that's all, I've, like, that's all I'm really caring about right now. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Who, what threw that? I'm confused. Did something throw the barrel? Oh, okay, okay. Bastard birds. 
Although just letting people know in case you uh, came in now and you missed it a bit earlier, I have put the difficulty to easy for the rest of this. So we'll see. Oh, okay. Ca I can't climb on that. Can I? Do is this enough to? What is sprint again? Why am I struggling? No, that's not sprint. Well, hopefully I'm not gonna really need that resource right now. <laughs> hey, sheriff, your password. Night Springs. What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Fright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. This town can get weird. What am I, an electrician? Hold on. This town can get weird at times, but not that weird. So it's like she knows. Ah, oh, damn. That's smart. Good job, Wade. Okay, stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. Well, hang on, hang on. I can't be passing these by, even even on a lower difficulty. Oh, I'm good, okay. Where, where, ah! Ah! Is she, is she shooting them? Yes, she is. Okay. I mean, I'll join you. I'm just trying to make them corporeal again. I need her with me all the time. She's great. Follow Sarah. Uh, are you, am I following you? Are you following me? Look out! I hate moment. Oh my god. I hate when video games do this. So many video games do this. But they're like, follow, follow this person. You wait there, wait, 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 wait. There was stuff at the breaker box that I can get now. Again, I Oh, is that thing still a phantom thing? I think it is. I just hope it doesn't try and actually hurt me. Is it moving? A little bit. Great. Okay, back we go. Do you have lights on in front of you? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one light here and one light there. And they're very bright lights. Because my, for anyone that's camera, camera aficionados, my ISO is very low on my camera. Which means to compensate, I need to have the rest of the room very light. <laughs> Man, it would be really nice to have an extra flare right now. If only I didn't completely blow it. But I think already I'm, I'm, much happier with the easier setting. I don't know if it's saying because she's my companion and having the companion having the companion is making things a lot better. But this seems ha <laughs> well done Alan. This is already seeming much more um manageable. I mean, she is doing a lot of work right now. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Zion in job time. How long a chat? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, please. In, in me time. Anything around? No, no, just this. Let's grab this. Hey, Shitaka, welcome in, lovely. How's it going? Oh, checkpoint. Checkpoint. There we go. 
I do quite like that sound, the little sound alert that you get. It's very comforting. Wait, over here! There's light! Hang on. I probably don't even need this stuff anymore, but I, I can't bear not having it. Uh, okay, let's see how we fare. She is quick on the trigger, my word. What, you dislike escort missions? Can you believe it? Is that a chainsaw? Yes, it is. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Honestly, the, the worst part, I think about this more than anything, which I know is the most in innovative part of it, is uh, the batteries, having to manage the batteries and the flashlight and the torch. Let's go, Wake. I think now you've dropped difficult a bit, you're used to the combat, you can smash through it. I think so. I think I will. I, I like just then, that, that ambush before, and it's a bit, ugh. It's a bit tough, not tough as in challenging, it's a bit tough because like, and again, I don't know if that interaction, that ambush was easier because I have this companion with me that's genuinely a great companion. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Gotcha. Other side, uh, she told me directions and yet I, I didn't hear them. Um, yeah, I don't know if, if the encounters are easier now because I put it on easy or because I've got a good companion with me, but they feel sig the difficulty changes feel significant right now. Uh, dark presence set back. The dark presence set back. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and heard it weakened it it was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again but meanwhile it would be difficult to recapture the writer okay yeah the original had the energizer or draw ourselves an official sponsor no it did not john you're saying that as a joke right for sure you're saying that as a joke the message was from barry he was getting worried at the station he wanted us to hurry Fair, incredibly fair. I would not want to be left. Ah! Ah! I can't see shit. What? I, I genuinely can't see anything. Like... I, I get that things are meant to be intentionally dark, but my word, guys. I mean, fucking honestly, there are limits that are absolutely limits, and this is it. <laughs> it was pitch black in that. You know, the original had tons of product placement. Really? That's, I mean, f fair. Okay, Sheriff, I got the key. Totally valid. But does seem like an odd... Battery's always dying. Would I Barry? want that alignment? Why isn't he inside? Oh god! Oh god! He has been legging it. This is not good. Barry, look out! Barry, move! Ah! Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. 
What an absolute legend. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. I hope Barry lives throughout this whole thing. He deserves it after that. My word. Because he must have run a long way, it seems. Good grief. Trust, and no, trust no one in the dark. I think we've read that message before. Yeah, the... Say it's rabbit season? See, this is already going by so much quicker. Wow. Uh, nothing here. No, because I think we've been here before. Um, I could be wrong. The original had energized the Duracell's official response, though it was reflected badly. Exactly, for them having to use so many batteries. That's so interesting. I think it's also, like, so... We can also, make like... Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Keep the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Ah. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. I feel like that's so... It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. I feel like that's so, like, illustrative of, like, early, uh... Like, we're all too marketing savvy now. We're a brand really wouldn't do that. taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Uh, Cynthia's work. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Okay. Taking this time to pause, talk through some things. So I think Cynthia and Thomas had a fling or something. We were somewhere earlier on where there was a bunch of graffiti, TZ, CW. We know it's her. But I swear we were in a room that was like Tom, 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 Tom. I don't know. I'm actually feeling, I'm, I don't know if I should know more than I know right now or not. She's obviously very aware of what's happening and is prepping for it. Hmm. Oh, wow. Each battery looked like an energizer. So they've swapped it out, clearly. The devs needed money for the game, so I think they took product placements to compensate the cost. And, like, f frankly, like, fairly they should. To me, product placement stuff doesn't bother me. Um, I do remember it. I only played, like, the first portion of Death Stranding. But that one was the only one where it, there was something that felt really ostentatious about it. It's for an energy drink, and I'm absolutely forgetting which energy drink it is right now. Is it Monster? Because I know Zion's here, and I know Zion's played through it. It's Monster, right? Yeah, yeah, the Monster Sponsor. I, I don't know why that stood out so much. It was just like, they actually removed that for the director's cut. That's fascinating. It was so, um, yeah, audacious, ostentatious. It was like not very subtly done at all. But I feel like the Energize, apart from the fact that the battery life in, in Torches doesn't last that long at all in this game, I think like the battery branded... Like battery packs actually isn't that bad. I do think it's quite interesting, but it's just called Bridges Soda now. I think that's funny, <laughs> but it was like whoa in your face. Also, like for a game that's set that far in the future, would you have a monster drink? No. Hang on, since I'm paused. <laughs> oh, hang on. This is actually so. I think this is so lovely. For a second, I thought Fess was coming in with some copy pasta. Hello, Java. I just want to take a moment and tell you how proud I am of you. You started strong, had some setbacks, and came back stronger than before. No one deserves to be on the front page more than you do. I'm gonna cry. As someone who's someone who's dog shit streaming. 
I don't, somebody's dog shit at streaming. I don't think people realize how hard you've worked to stream, edit YouTube, TikTok, whatever else. Congratulations on your success. I hope to see even more in the future. One, I'm actually gonna get teary. That's so lovely. Two, you are not dog shit at streaming. You are absolutely not. You're genuinely, I, I think, I wish you gave yourself more credit. I really do. Cause I genuinely think you're fantastic. You're, you've got a very clear brand. And I think you're funny as fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Best than normal to be just show posters. Uh, the Matrix had weird oh yeah, Powerade and stuff like that as well. I know, I'm going to start crying, Zion. In the song, The Poet and the Muse, the song tells a story about Zane and Barbara. Really interesting. Which, have, we, have I missed that song, Spectrum? Is that something that I should have run into by now? You get one nice comment per year. I... I'm full up for the year, Fessa. I wouldn't expect anything more from you. I'm I'm good with that. It's more than I could have possibly hoped for. But at first, I did think it was a copy pasta. <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> Thank you guys. And give Fessa a follow so you can tell him he's not dog shit, right? Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. <laughs> I like that. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. How the hell has he made it so far? Okay, little demonic wagon, whatever that is. Hang on, hang on. Why am I collecting this? This isn't even worth collecting. I'm not even trying to collect all of these. I don't know. I just knew there was something there. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Uh, do I want to swap to the hunting rifle? Yeah, I might as well. Also, there, it's, it's, uh, there are sirens going off in this game, right? Or is it in real life? I can't tell. Can't tell what's real and fake anymore, chat. No, but seriously, I can't tell what's, it must be in real life. But it's adding to the atmosphere of the game right now. In a way that I don't. In a way that I wish it would rather, like, not. Barry in the general Barry store. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Balls general store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns. And yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. Hang on, this is really sweet because this is this is Alan writing this for Barry. He's right. I feel like he's give he's writing Barry courage, um, which then also does give me hope that Barry survives. The weird thing though about the manuscript, picking up the manuscripts, right, is like, was that meant to be a bit of a surprise? Uh, like, should we be questioning whether or not that's Barry? Like, there's a potential that, that that maybe wasn't Barry, but now we know for sure it's him. I don't know. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm bloody not taking it off, Fessa. <laughs> this were a jersey hat. Would you expect that? Would you want that? No, of course not. I, come on, come on. Why do they keep on repeating that? Oh geez, not these ones. Stop, 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 stop. I, I just got cornered. I let myself get cornered. That was bad. Do I need to re-swap this stuff again? Yeah, I do. The song that Alan heard about Cynthia at the farm. If you search the lyrics there, there are more to song that meets the eye. I, oh, I've got a flashbang. Um, I definitely get the vibe that, oh, I've got so many flares as well. Oh my gosh, and so many flashbangs. Um, wait, do I need to recollect the manuscript page? Oh, there's this here as well. I get the vibe that this is one of those games. I'm excited to like, 
well one when i'm going back and editing i pick up on certain things but i'm excited also to see yeah someone else's playthrough um to to pick up on things that like when you're playing especially when you're playing it the first time around i just don't think you notice or i certainly didn't the color confused me on the hat because the green oh you're expecting a jets hat it is almost it's a weird thing the color is not as vibrant on stream as it is off stream I'm it does look like a jets Howard color a piece of my mind about this lock Ugh, i told him to get it fixed let's go oh, let's take a break okay i do feel like it makes sense to fight them on the floor like this though is there more here no Honestly, oh no, not that, not that. Oh, I think that was a waste. I don't think I got any of them. No, not that, not that. Well, that works better than I expected to. Not bad. Not terribly well done, but not bad. You got jumped, I know. It's green because I don't shower often. <laughs> okay, it's open. Let's go. Wait. How does that even make sense? At least this area is well lit. Yeah. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Wait, what am I looking at? Why? Well, it's tradition. What am I looking? What am I looking at? Okay. Wait, is there anything here in the up here? Up here. The dark presence hunts the hot dog. Whatever. For it to be free, the dark presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task, and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets and sent them after Alan Wake. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. hang on. Hang on, just one second, just one second. If you've not met him, you guys get to meet Goblin. He's so gorgeous. Gorgeous kitty. I love him very much, but he does not like the bright lights. Uh, so we've read that. We can now carry on. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Fantastic. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Exactly. Oh my god, yeah, we're in a church. Oi. Alright. Ooh. Oh. It's just so dark. Can't see shit. Oh, Wah! where, where? Who? Oh, are you? Is that a crematorium thing? Maybe. Dark Souls got nothing on this. I know, honestly. Who'd have thought Dark Souls would be bright, huh? I don't like her slowly walking about like that. Can you actually go first? You were quite brave. Guess that one ah! <laughs> well done, Barry. <gasps> like that one? A tough audience. 
Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Incredible. That was so cool. That was so well done. I'm thrilled about that. What a great moment with Barry in the lights and stuff. It's it's awesome. So, so, so well done. I'm taking a quick little peek. Anything around? I don't think so. Hey, Fat Factor. Welcome in. No falling over. Not yet. Who knows? Maybe, maybe you'll be in luck. Goblin was lurking in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Opened your door. Nothing did. No, he was just in the room already. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. I'm so happy you hey, did. I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. Bastard. I do want a headlamp. Bastard. Alice trapped in the dark. Alice screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. So maybe she really, maybe this all did really happen and, and she's stuck in it. She didn't fall in, she didn't actually fall in the lake, but she's actually been taken to the dark place. But I still don't think that's what's really happening. I still think there's a much bigger, I think we're so zoomed in. And as soon as the game's done, it's a massive zoom out and you realize like the full implication of what's going on. But thank you for the follows guys. Welcome in. 27 out of 10. Oh, absolutely. Bar in Barry, we trust for everything. Incredible. Oh, Barry, I love this look. Please, I just want it to be the three of us for the rest of this. You're both so great to have. When someone throws a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license, you're cleared for departure tonight springs. God, uh, no offense, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. See now, this is a thing that I also don't fully understand. I think I read or saw somewhere that um, the the darkness is imitating what the tourists and the people here look like. Some of them the do look like the residents. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. Great. <laughs> Don't take too long. We got to prep for an ambush because there are lots of these explosive barrels and a lot of goodies here. But we, at least we got flashbangs. Um, no, so what I was... Oh, shotgun ammo, but here we go. Let's swap to a shotgun. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, but a lot of these... A, a lot of the... What are they called? Oh, it begins like a TH. What are these people called? The, the threats people? Some of them look... Too much... Like, they live, like, kind of city life look. You know what I mean? He's a spitting image of Barry from EastEnders. Ki actually, kind of, yeah. Yeah, so the dark... I... the darkness no not that not that it's not what i wanted but that into the into the that's pretty incredible though <laughs> hey 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 
See, like that, that to me looks like they're trying to make it look like someone from New York. Don't you think? A little bit. Are you, are you corporeal or not? Don't you think a little bit? Maybe it's supposed to be someone on vacation, maybe. <laughs> Am I supposed to just get in? No, survive the assault, pick up flashbang. Where? Wh who do I need to survive? I okay, okay, okay. Guys, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm literally, guys, I'm literally being bullied. No, 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 give it up. Give it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's stuff like that happens so much in the game. I promise on everything that was holy. I, I was literally just mashing dodge. But you just get uh, staggered like mad sometimes. That's not what I meant to do. And so it would be moments like, frankly, moments exactly like that in the, um, uh, on normal mode that would get so annoying. So annoying. Note self, there is no animation cancel. There is absolutely no animation cancel, it seems. Once you try and commit to turning that light on, you are stuck until that light is turned on. Uh, wait. Oh, uh. Okay. Where? Stop. We're just flashbanging all over the place now. I wanted to actually pick up more ammo, but I didn't have enough time. Do I have enough time to get stuff from here? No, I don't. No, I'm in trouble. Come on, Alan, babe. Gotta go quick. close enough I just took that right to the dome I didn't mean to are you dead okay Hero. Come on, Bazaar. 
Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Oh, the pinned message. Thank you, Rad. Lichi, welcome in. How's it going? Hey, Hayden and Joy. No, don't say that, Eddie. I know, we're just back in the woods again. More darkness. More woods, more misery. I hope you know how to deal with this, Wake. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease Dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Just get us there. We're staying together as a collective. Oh, great. They're going to fly into the turbine or the, uh, what do you call it? Propellers. Oh, great. No, I'm going to get stranded from the rest of them. I mean, I knew there was going to have to be some kind of contrivance to get me by myself, but it makes me sad. I quite enjoyed having them all around. I wish they stayed. Oh god. Uh I could have helped. I'm gonna blow my entire load doing this. I, whatever. I don't need to, I guess. Ooh, I'm out of batteries. That sucks a lot. Uh, across, across the transformer yard. Uh, in here? Nope. No, but that is the way I need to go. Uh, oh. And now I'm all alone. Bastards. This is now going to be the place where I continuously die. You would sort of think like you kill enough of them and then they just kind of give up. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Um, now, if this was a Resident Evil game, the helicopter would crash for sure. I mean, it practically, it practically almost did. Cross the transformer yard. I had to do something about the chain for the door to open. Oh, okay. Uh, so I need to do something to this chain. Uh, yeah. I need to do something for the chain. The darkness control, oh, the Taken, that's what they're called, the Taken. Hey, I don't know. wasn't there a movie about birds attacking a town? Yes, I think it's literally called Birds. It's Alfred, Hitch oh, I don't have the weapons. Alfred Hitchcock's Birds. The Birds? Birds, the Birds. Um, all right. Surely I don't shoot the chain. That seems like it would be silly to do. Right, guys, collectively? Or not, I guess. I'm all alone again. I don't like it. <laughs> Dang it. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Yes, I need to go do something about the chain. I do find it interesting that you start a lot of these checkpoints where you lose like all of the goodies that you had before. However, 
I also find it incredibly frustrating. Why don't I keep the flashbangs and the flare gun and da 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 da, you know? Why do you eight weapons of flares and then you lose them? I know, exactly. And also these heavy, ah! Oh! oh my gosh. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Maybe just run for the light. I'm about to get caught, yeah. Bro, what the fucking sickle? The wombo combo is crazy on that. <sighs> Honestly, maybe why fight them? Maybe I just... Oh no, because I need to wait for it to open up enough. I think that's what it is. Good thing it's on easy, I know. And even now, the sequence is... Yeah, the combo attacks, it's everything. It's a bunch of stuff where like... I go... It's a bunch... It's a bunch of stuff where I go... Ah! Ah! Aye! Aye! It's a bunch of stuff where I go, like the gameplay mechanics, like in theory, not bad, not bad, not bad. In implementation, not good. Not good. Come on. The game's cheating, mom. It's cheating. But what I've continuously said and what I will absolutely continuously say is they do give a lot of checkpoints. And that is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Why don't you have the weapons any longer? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You sound like Link attacking when I get scared. <laughs> My, I should be, I should be, I was gonna say paid to do the voice acting or paid for it or something. Who knew I've got a budding career in voice acting. New Link, new Link's voice coming in. Uh, hang on. This, this, that, all right, Uh, fine. And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just <laughs> 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 Like the bat the battery on this is pathetic. It makes this far more frustrating than it needs to be. Ah! I'm just screwed. I'm just screwed. Yeah. Hey, such a so welcome in. Are we being spooked right now? Yes, on Rio, welcome in. <laughs> How are you doing? Do you guys also do a song? Oh, I don't know. That's an amazing control. Mm. Good question. I've got flares, let me use, well, I'm not turning that shit on again. I might as well actually, why not? And here's a new song from a band that- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the bookshelf doing that to me, guys. Flare. Hello? 
Hello, what is this aiming? Flare, flare. I'm not out of flares. I'm not out of flares, am I? I'm out of batteries. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Uh, how did I let that happen? I feel like stuff like that happens a lot. I must have just like panic reloaded the battery when I didn't mean to. Mm. I saw some canisters in there, maybe give them a shot. I'm not going back in there, but I guess if I die, I would re respawn to this checkpoint, right? Nah, let me just push forward. And then if I need to go back, I'll go back. The power plant glowed in the night. It was close. But I had to find a way across. Now, hang on. If I jump down here, am I stuck down here? Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. So let's go back this way, I guess. Right? Because if I die, it's just going to send me back that way. And like, I'm trying not to focus the light on it so I don't waste my resources. Now are they gonna resp are they all gonna respawn now, do we think? Okay, I think that's the last of them. Yes, because the engagement music's over. Okay, not the cleanest way of doing that. I don't know if I like that the music's still playing in here or not. Um, are there no more batteries? Oh, what's... Oh, it's a thermos. Oh, maybe something in here? No. Hmm. Flashbacks to the janitor. Hang on. And I'm... We're positive. I don't think I missed anything, right? Yeah, this is super early 2000s alt rock. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Damn. Advert for continuing on. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's run the advert now. Lovely non subs. There's an advert that's gonna run right now. Um, it is. We only run one ad. We only run one advert, an hour. So this will be the ad break. I'm not gonna jump down into there just yet. So go grab water, use the toilet, do whatever you need to do. Uh, okay. I think the ad break is just about done. Let's go. Tons of reading as well in control. Collect everything. I know, it'd be nice to play control when I can take more of my time with it. I mean, I just don't see how I'm not, oh. You can see the paint now that she's been using. And this like very ominous breathing, I love that. Okay, arrow pointing here. Arrows pointing out to this. Cache, cache. But still no batteries. Ooh, I don't know what that symbol is. It's just a candle, I guess. JB, yo, welcome in, how's it going? F 
flare gun and a flare and a flashbang. All right. <sighs> what? Oh, he just short circuits everything, I think. Great. Asshole. Uh, all right. Okay. Batteries at least, thank God. Not a good day, but I'll be fine. I'm so sorry, JB. I hate hearing that. But, and you know this, and you don't need me to tell you this. Bad days are just days that are bad. Like, why are you heavy and absolutely sprinting like that? Pick one. Why are you heavy and fast? That's just silly. Good grief. Yep, okay. Sorry, the bad days that are just, are days that are, hang on, bad? It's from Animal Crossing. I love that line. It sticks with me a lot. Jesus. I know it's like I can get them to walk into that, but I don't even know how to intelligently get them to walk into that, you know? Because I can't walk into it. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once. As hard as it had been, she was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Okay. So Cynthia has been working behind the scenes a lot to protect the town. It seems. And she is now understandably tired. Shotgun ammo. Let's just take the shotgun out. I've not yet used it. Nope. Oh, Jamie, I love that. Obviously hate that you're having a bad day. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not going to be mucking this stuff up too much. For sure, I'm... What? Uh, how do I? How do I? Well. Ah! I don't know what I just let off. I don't know what just happened to him. Okay. Oi. Big and fast. Maybe he played football in high school. Maybe. That's true. You do have to be big and fast to play football. American football. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like I've been saying, surprisingly hard. Uh, do I want to explore for anything else here? No, probably not. Take me away. He dead and that's all that matters. True. Who needs to worry about replicating it? I have the utmost faith. Is this her chair? Stop. Okay. Wake's plan. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Mm. Okay. Yes, checkpoint. 
I do love that one of the clues is like lost. Just follow the lights, lol. Just follow the lights. <laughs> Which, like, to be fair, yeah, all right. Okay, we're locked and loaded. Let's go. I sort of feel like, based on how few manuscript pages there are and how many that we've picked up, that we would be coming near the end of this chapter. But I'm not positive. I guess, does anyone who's played this before have a sense of how much longer is it? Ah! It's a lot of that, this chapter, it feels like. A lot of, like, much cheaper uh, jump scare stuff, no? I feel like that's happened so many times this time around. Oh. Ooh. What just What am I doing? Am I moving? No, that bridge is moving. The bridge is moving. Well, let's just stay in here until it's done. No point being out there. You're not halfway through yet. I'm not even halfway through this chapter yet. Is it stuck? No. My brain can't compute that. I'm like, no, Lord Ophir is lying. You don't know. You don't know that you don't know this the this game at all. This chapter's gonna end when I go inside that building. <laughs> Damn, I'm not even halfway through this yet. Wait! What is happening? Is this shit spinning? Oh for fuck's sake, I think it's spinning. Why would it spin? From what Zion said, I'm set for a five plus hour stream again. Okay. And so I guess the whole point uh, is to survive this. Uh, oh, uh, I've already missed it. So let's go back to the end. Hey, hey, hey. Why would this spin? Make it make sense. Surely they're all dead by now. Okay. Oh, oh, well that's a waste. That's a shame. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, at least we've got our friend back for support. Gotta go to the power plant. I assume this is my new checkpoint. Thank you. Yeah, Zion said I'm in for a five plus hour stream. Uh, Why well, I started? Okay, so I would have started the game like uh. uh Like an hour in, I would say, right? So we're like an hour and a half into this chapter, I think. Okay.
Oi. Okay. Go to the power plant. Go to the power plant. You started playing around seven, quarter past seven. Okay. Yeah, quarter. Yeah, yeah. So I've been. Wait, wait, wait. What? You're such a baby! Hi! Bastard birds! This is how we play Alan Wake. It's me just literally dodging between between light sources. Language, what did I say? The F bomb? Huh. Great. But see, now this guy doesn't look like a tourist. He doesn't look like a local. Safe haven. Nice. Let's hope it's actually a safe haven and not a debate. I recognize the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Uh, have have we? Have I? Have is that true? And I've just not realised. Dropped an F bomb a little bit ago, but if it's the first one for tonight, it's not that bad. It's definitely not that bad. Hmm. Well, how's everyone feeling? Oh, hold it right there, Miss Weaver. Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it. Uh, you knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the lady of the light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Okay. Well lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. Rooms at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Just don't leave this room. Forget Alice. Just stay in the room this whole time. End of the game. We never solve the mystery. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us? But hmm? you're t honestly correct. Is it everything all right? Was damaged at the transformer yard. It's rain. All the reserve power without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Okay. Well, is that that ends our conversation? I suppose. Cut the power to the transformer yard. First I've noticed, but I think it might be the only one. I think, I hope it's the only one. I think it's the only one. Uh, this way. Lovely. Another little circuit. Where do I need to go? Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey. That's actually not what I meant to do, <laughs> but it works. So we take those. Weaver had sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. So, so, okay. It's, the, the, they, the setup is that it's a town that's continuously been like this? Yes. All right, we need to go I over that. I could see the kill switch yep. that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Okay, this looks like we're doing, this looks like a puzzling section, I think. And not a you're in danger section, but we'll see. 
Yes, would you look at that? So all these little controls. If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. Yes, but what does which one do? Uh, all right. Is, surely that's the solution, no? I don't see why that wouldn't be the solution, but it seems too easy to have been the solution. Would you like a vacation in this town? Absolutely not. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. We do loop de shroops. Rule two, keep the lights on. Yes, I'm incredibly aware of that now. Thank you. Cool. Hey, <clears throat> hey, hey, hey! Great. The transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go. At least, at least, at least I had the reflexes to get off that thing in time. Now kickstarts the you're in trouble section. Aha, you bastards. I knew you were coming. I don't care. I got flares and I'm gonna use them up until I do care. I hate that they're smart enough to also walk away from the flat. Like, piss off. I don't care. I don't. Bye, 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 bye. Because they're not going to let me keep them anyway. Might as well use it. It is nice this to way. see all the characters to kind of tie back together. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush ah, on him. Ah, she had a crush on him. Such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. <sighs> He was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my name, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. I knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it. The darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you sustain. So Thomas is the one that kickstarted all of this. this hey, cuddle buddy. Take us directly to the well lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. I don't feel good. Hello? Ow! 
Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Barry, no! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Something feels not right. Something feels off. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. If Barry is your best friend, I know. Not my yeah, agent Lisa being my best friend. About her. She knew how to stay safe. Um, okay, okay. Reach the crash site. Uh, the well-lit room. All right, well, at least we're making our way to the well-lit well room. Uh, the falling helicopter. Okay, we're only missing. So this one I think we've missed. Um, but then we're only missing one other page that we can collect. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. But it's also like... How could you write that about your best friend, you bastard? I don't care if you're under the influence or not. You're under the influence of the darkness. Fuck Barry. No, we love Barry. Barry's one of the few highlights of uh, of things so far. Mm. Yeah, I took, gosh. This will be a, a definitely an interesting one to unpack for sure. Like once the game is done and I always do this. Um, Uh, I always do this when I finish games. I kind of go through like my thoughts for playing, etc. Um, but yeah, this is this is. Mm. I think this is going to be one that I'm going to be most interested in. Like I give my, I'll give my immediate thoughts afterwards. But I'm most interested in like sitting Barry, with it. Sheriff Breaker, Sarah. The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Yeah, no bodies. Unless they are incredibly well hidden. Uh, okay, cool. Pick up flare. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Well lit room, good stuff. In order for the story, there must be setbacks, manuscript to work, I suppose. <laughs> But if it's, I don't think I would have the heart to write, you know. I would just do, everyone lives happily ever after all the time. Or I get to just be with these two all the time. Oh shit. I. Okay, no. Oh, oh, which which gun am I using right now? Oh. oh no. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I paint myself into a corner a lot. I'm, I'm dead. City and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. But Barry, you know that I wrote that, right? I have Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Yeah. 
Human shield, don't say that, no. Told you into an F-bomb. Did I say F-bomb? Damn. Oh, because someone wrote fuck Barry, which I know I just said it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, guys. Laugh it up. In order for the story... Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to spending some time away from this to think. Because right now, my thoughts are that the story is really interesting. I think the characters... I think it's well written. I think the characters are intriguing. But I think the gameplay really holds it back, man. Like this chapter, it's, this chapter to me has felt really long. Oh, It's everywhere. I know, isn't it great? Yep. What do you want me to do? I'm... Yeah, I know. What do you shush? How many of them are there? Where'd that one go? I don't know. Who... Okay. Was that it? Wait. Are we safe? That was wow. I think we're okay. Yes. Wait, doesn't that mean that Alan wrote in the eye of Mordor? Hey, Al, I got a bad yeah. feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. You don't say, Barry. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird because, we like, made it. <laughs> we made when it. you think about it, it's not a long Al, game. Can we just wait here, please? I know, Barry. I guess it, babe. I guess it. Wait, um, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. The game's not a long game, hours wise, and yet. It feels like it totally, in my opinion, it feels like it really drags, but it shouldn't do. Like a chapter being two and a bit hours feels right. Mm. Heads up, here they come. Oh no, oh no. They're coming. We have to hold them off, fight them on. That might've been a waste. Where is the other one? Why is everything slow motion like this? What is? Yeah, it's just like that, Barry. Would you believe me? Get in the elevator? Yeah. Come on, Sarah, let's go. Get your ass in here, Sarah. Oh, what? For God's sake, Barry, you could touch it. I just see sitting here the whole time waiting. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, oh, interesting, crazy. Spectrum. I'm She's not sure if I picked that one up. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, um, it was real. Somewhat of a local, local legend, I suppose. I know, Barry, you have hands and fingers, Barry. You've got agency. You don't need me to do it. I love him though. Him in the Christmas lights is like such a highlight. It makes it all better, chat. Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. Oh no! An ambush! Hold the button down so we can get in. And then you guys are gonna get in and I'm gonna be stuck here by myself. Or something massive comes out. Oh no, because it's in the light, so nothing could come out. Oh no! I'm stuck. What's going on? We get to the dam from here. What's happening out there? You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She's 
should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. I know. I know. I know, Alan. You gotta be kidding me. See, and I don't mean to be grumpy girls here, but I don't find this interesting or fun. It just, I find it tedious. Down it's boy. just, <laughs> not down boy. It's just taking away from the story. It's like, oh, let's continuously, and it's a video game, right? It's a video game, of course. Like, what do you expect? It's like, let's continuously create these artificial barriers to prevent you from doing whatever, whatever. Oh, oh yeah, I'm only missing one now. So Zane's shoebox. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that he made in this horror. Okay, okay. So Thomas Zane created the situation. He knew that to undo it, he needed to also then remove himself. Okay, yeah, he unleashed the dark presence. And so the only way to get rid of it was to remove himself. Dot Presence taken over, his girlfriend thing, we know that. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. Yep, so even as he wrote himself as worked out, the loophole was that anything inside this shoebox would remain in this place. Which I feel like was a loophole for the Dark Presence to stay, but I don't know. Daft Punk, welcome in. It's like you were expecting something. Now, does this mean that Java is writing the story? Again, once again, I am the writer of this story. Okay, what else? What else have we got? Checkpoint! Which I genuinely wholeheartedly love. They're like, just in case you were hoping to... Uh, make it through all this uh unscathed why sh i don't understand why show me the threat if you're not going to give me enough time to deal with the threat yeah just in case you were hoping that you could make it through um we're gonna burst every single light here you are truly stuck in the dark okay don't get it twisted the well-lit room i'm glad that she's written out so many this lady had multi contingency upon contingency for ways to reach the well at room. Yeah, look at me, look at me. I'm the writer now, exactly. Too bloody right. Okay, what have we got? Fishing can be a hobby. The searchlight could even the odds. Great. Any more? See now them evaporating with using the light is great. Oh my god. Fad la la. I don't know what the hell I was aiming at before. I can't dodge two of you guys. Oh shit. Enough. You will go no further. I was rolling my eyes as whatever that is flashed upon the screen, so I didn't actually see it. But 
I'm sure whatever it was was a fabulous jump scare. Alan, Alan, please, Alan. I know you're not an action person, but for the love of God, I need you to have a greater sense of self-preservation. I need you to put a little pep in your step. It is killing me. What is this hobble? We don't have time, Alan. Why did I do that? It's probably gonna ruin, yeah, great. Knees, yeah, yeah, knees to your ass. Alan, I need to see chin to pocket situation. Chin to pocket, Alan, chin to pocket. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not the bloody crowbar thingy landing right on top of me. You're, they're having an absolute laugh. Do I need to push the button again? Good grief. Bandit, welcome in. I know, CM. Well done. Glad I was wrong. It's a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. And then we're going to go down there. Oh no, it's not working. Something's happened. Did you write this in your story? Sir, welcome in. Alan can't run that long. I know, but he needs to. He's in trouble. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Yes, you take your time, sweet old lady. It's a good thing she's not the one that had crowbar and shit flying at her face. <laughs> You're in control, but blame the character. Oh, do I open this? Sorry. I figured she would open it. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. This is the shoebox, I think. John Aaron, welcome in. The page Hi. was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Ooh. Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath, and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. <sighs> I can get to her now. I can finish this. He understands what that means? Because I'm understanding that to mean that I'm not even real. Jesus. Okay. Um, one, it is such a shame. It is such a shame that I don't get to keep the music in for the YouTube videos. If you're listening to this on YouTube, there is no music playing right now or I've replaced it with something else. And that's purely because my video, even if I turn monetization off, the video won't even show in certain countries, which is crazy to me. So I'm sorry for that. Two, great chapter i think this has probably been my favorite chapter so far um i think really interesting character moments decent enough variety in what you're doing um 
but I'm trying to think the imp- I, to me it feels like the implication is that Thomas Zane wrote me into existence that's what it feels like right obviously don't spoil for those of you that know don't spoil but it feels like if Thomas Zane wrote that about me and it's a story that happened to me when I was young then it feels like he's in the one that's in control of everything right so you've been a puppet all along that's the vibe that I'm guessing I'm just like pausing it for a second that's the vibe that I'm guessing the whole time I think we've been a puppet or a pawn we we our lives have not been lived for ourselves um it feels like we're a story in a story but I'm not sure I am really happy that I was able to start this stream playing it on uh easy as much as some of this gameplay stuff today has been frustrating it's been way more manageable way more manageable than in the previous other streams there were times in yesterday's stream in particular and those of you that were there know this um but if you weren't there were times in yesterday's stream where I was like oh my god I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to pass this this section it was like super intense and challenging in like a very not fun way whereas like in this section did I play it perfectly no did I have to restart a couple of things like yeah but I the way that easy is playing is how I would have expected normal to play I think um I'm thrilled that you could do it easy I would say this at this point in time I would say this to anyone who's interested in playing the game I think the whole reason you would want to play Alan Wake is for the story I would say to put it on easy there's no point in like in my personal opinion torturing yourself by playing it through normal or god forbid nightmare or hard or whatever whatever it is um uh but obviously it's totally personal preference and everyone's kind of different but do you consider law from the q do, do you consider law from the qr codes as spoilers because there is some interesting law in it that will help so i've only seen one qr code in the game and we did watch that video live although i will admit it didn't mean too much to me at the time i think it was supposed to be a nice easter egg for people who maybe had played the game before i'm not sure agreed i like the story and artistic direction in this game but the gameplay wise control is a more enjoyable experience which is great to hear yes no shame to play it on easy the game checkpointed me uh in a section where i had no ammo and a hundred one thing that i do really like and i promise i'm gonna get the game i'm gonna continue the game after this i just want to get this thought out i do think the one a couple of things that they're generous about um is there are a lot of checkpoints and if i'm remembering correctly if you die at a checkpoint i don't think it saves you with the amount of ammo or like batteries that you had i feel like it replenishes your stock but it will like only just replenish your stock like they're not going to give you extras of of anything like you're not cushioned um on normal because there were a couple times where i got to a check i was having to loop at a checkpoint and i noticed this as i was editing it back i was like wow i had like the exact number of bullets and the exact number of batteries if you do it like flawlessly you you didn't have anything to spare um and that gets really really frustrating really hard and it's like the enemies to me i think the enemies are just way too there's way too much going on you've got the one one that ridiculously fast you've got them throwing stuff at you you've got them charging at you the heavies will charge at you also the battery life on the torch is like non-existent so you're having to like continuously retouch the torch to to shine the thing on them it takes ages it's too i just think i think it's like one too many ideas or like two or three too many ideas if you like pulled out refined a little bit it would be a lot more fun to do it feels incredibly laborious but i think the idea of having to shine the light on them making them corporeal to then like i think there's something interesting there it this is just in my opinion it's not it this needs like way more finessing and what it sounds like is happening had happened a lot in the run-up to the game is like a lot of different shifting directions it seems like i don't know how many games the studio had under their belt at this time or if it was more of like a freshman studio working on this sort of stuff um i know they had worked on max Payne. people have mentioned max Payne a couple times um but i don't know what else they had under their belt and it feels like 
it needed some refining because the gameplay loop the combat is ridiculous in my opinion ridiculously frustrating um as someone who completed the game on normal on normal multiple times i never found it hard or distracting maybe i was just more patient with it and that could be it and i and i promise this will be the last thing that i say and then we'll get the game going I have completely acknowledged a couple things that may be absolutely tainting or or coloring my perspective. One, I am on a time crunch. I'm on a self-imposed time crunch for playing this. I I had three streams available before Armored Core comes out. I knew I wanted to get the game done before that time. So I knew that that meant I would have to play two chapters a stream. And I was like, I'm very diligent on that. Um, so that's definitely a self-imposed parameter. I also recognize I'm streaming it whilst I'm playing it. So like, I'm maybe a bit distracted and maybe wanting to move through things a bit faster than they intend for you to want to move through things. Um, and also I think I'm noticing i mean I, and again this game came out 13 years ago uh and i think it's very much like a product of the times where i think maybe people were much more used to i don't know having to play things a bit slower like i'm i'm even trying to think back about playing when i played like maybe some of the assass some of the assassin's creed games there I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of segments that i playing now i'll be like oh that's so slow or like even in the modern assassin creed games like the sections where you have the forts and there are people around and you have to be really slow and patient with it or whatever like i i yeah i do recognize that there is just a certain part of this that like it is a, a product of the times and i think that those who played it around the time that it came out probably think about it way more favorably than people who are playing it nowadays i would think as well not that i like the gameplay but the overwhelming times with enemies felt like part of the story since alan can't just breeze through it might just be me though no and i think that that's i i think you're onto something you wouldn't want it to be just a cake well I think the challengingness of it adds to the story, right? Like I do think you wouldn't want to just like necessarily breeze through it again. And this is because I didn't realize how action heavy it is. Not that I, not that I normally mind action. I play a lot of action games. Like I think action adventure, like RPGs are my sort of bread and butter um, when it comes to games. But I went into this not expecting it to be as action orientated as it was. I expected it to play much more like how a Detroit Become Human or an Until Dawn plays where uh, uh, the gameplayness of it is like almost minuscule. You're really just like actually playing a film at that point. Um, so yeah, I guess you would need like have trickier moments for combat but i think there's like a line where it toes where it gets i just don't think the game's like balanced very well i don't know and again playing on easy was way more manageable like yeah whether a couple times i had to redo something yeah but i think i only ever redid big encounters like if i failed it once i think i got it on the second time or something like that i love theorizing about things i'm like an incredibly analytical person by nature i love analyzing things um and i love talking about these things so i'm incredibly appreciative that you guys enjoy hearing about stuff because lord knows i got a lot to say about a lot of stuff let's carry on we're gonna start chapter six so here we go